Hey guys, you know, I've spoken so many things now. And uh, you, you don't catch what I'm saying. And every time I go online, everybody stops what they're doing and they listen to what I'm saying. But few understand my concept. I've been here talking about different things. About the way we live and so many things ahead of us. But uh, a few understands me. Those who understand, they catch my, my words. Those who don't, they are perishing. We have spoken so many times concerning money issues. The spirit of money originated with the angels. They introduced the spirit of money, the spirit of moneta, to the human beings, the fallen angels. That spirit has been on this earth for thousands of years. Averaging the human being, the human race, making me kill you because I want that money. Causing fight and havoc and making people to hate each other. For no apparent reason, you just wake up and hate me because I owe you money. If today you want to have enemies, borrow their money, spend it, don't pay them back. That spirit will rule over you. If you have it, you know what I mean. If you want to do a fight with everybody, deny them the chance to have the money. If you want war, talk about money. And that is why I'm saying money is a spirit we have to fight against. It is something that was initiated, it even sold. It even created desire in human race. Judas, the Iscariot, sold Jesus because of money. And Jesus did nothing. When he was taken before the Pilato, Pilato said he didn't find any crime, any offense in him. But they said they want him hanged. They want him hanged, crucified. So money is something. Today, life is revolving around money. Everything you do, no matter what, no matter where, you wake up in the morning, not because you, you, you love God so much, it's because of money. Money, spirit of money, makes you even to hate your God, your creator, money. I'll continue fighting this spirit. Your own children, your own family, it will hate you because of money. Either you have it, or you don't have it. You must be somewhere there in between. You know what I'm saying. You have to fight that spirit completely. It has to get out of you. You must learn to love people. Whether they have money or not. Me have touched millions. It never settled in my life. It disappeared. Because the spirit. And I don't want to do evil. To call it so that it can settle on me. I don't need that nonsense. So you have to understand what I'm saying and the reason why money is playing a role that's positive and negative in our lives. Many people are dead, gone forever, innocently, simply because of money. Or somebody today, he'll come knocking at your door and want money. It's a spirit. It rules to divide, to destroy, to despise, to mock, to make you feel more important than others or make you feel less inferior because you don't have it. It will never settle. Nobody owns it. And I have spoken about it. The way it was initiated, it was caused to create division amongst ourselves and to hate each other and to oppress and create division and divide and rule systems which are oppressing the world up to date since then. We go to school simply because we are chasing money. That is it. You study hard, you get good grades, you get certificates, you go look for a job or you self employ yourself like me, so you can earn money. It's not something you can wake up one day and say you want it and you get it. No, it's a system. 
and our system, you have to be honest with it. This is episode 2 of everything to do with money and you have to listen carefully what I'm putting across here because you make that mistake, look at your life, what you have gone through and why you are the way you are is because of money. In presence of money, you do many things. You fulfill the desires of your heart. You do everything you want when money is available. But to get where it is, you have to meet its conditions. And its conditions depends on the type of the nature of a person and how disciplined and moral and integrated you are to the system of making it. So money is not something you can wake up and say you want it and you get it because there are three natural concepts of getting money. Either you inherit it from rich parents or you work through years, you earn it or you steal it. No any other concept of getting money. Either you inherit from the parents, you work, you earn it or you steal it. That is it. It revolves around those three concepts. Go and do your research and you realize what I'm saying. I'm effective in my debate. If you want to challenge me, hit that subscription button. Join me on the debate. Let's debate about this money issue. I'm coming again with episode 3 of what money is. You will answer me. Have a great weekend. Enjoy and take care. Cheers.